everyone, welcome to Sketch A Day Live. It is Memorial Day in the United States, Monday, May 31st, 2021. Thanks for joining. It's been a minute. Um, as I explained last week, had a lot of stuff to wrap up at the end of the week, including kid stuff. So that's what I was up to. Um, shout out, welcome. Got a, got a bunch of people. Maybe it's the holiday. That's awesome. Okay, so I do have my new iPad with me as well as my old iPad. So for the first little bit, I'm happy to answer any questions, just initial impressions that I've had using the new iPad as opposed to the 2018 iPad. So I've been waiting for about three years to upgrade my iPad. And I finally felt like it was at a stage at a place where if I spent the money, I felt like it would be worth it. So if you have any questions, cue those up. I'll be happy to answer as we go today. In addition to all that, shout out. What's up, Svetlana? Phil? Hey, Phil. <laughs> I'm good. Um, shout out to the patrons and channel members as well. Much love to you. Appreciate your support. Thanks for your support, love, appreciation, all that stuff. Hey, Felix, what's up? Yes, happy new iPad. So also apologies, I just got done working out, got out of the shower. So I'm a little bit, you know, you know, you know the drill, you know the deal. Okay, so I'm trying to think of the best way to show this. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's do, let's do the overhead. And it's going to be a little bit dark, but I do have both iPads with me this one's connected right now to my whole setup <clears throat> um, but in terms of screen I'm actually going to remove the screen protector from this other iPad so we can compare apples to apples so to speak can't show you my passcode but yes I was playing chess okay cool so if we open up procreate um, there's a couple things I've noticed so far um, performance aside um i would say performance doesn't seem as noticeable the performance differences in fact i'm just going to send this this file over to this other ipad or let's see yep they're the same name i'll have to update the name <clears throat> all right so there's a couple of things and you're probably you're probably not going to be able to see them super well on camera unfortunately um because i have this overhead light for example i wonder if i kill that light okay maybe you can kind of see here so this is the ipad with hdr and this is without it's really hard to see um and i think i would need to like super modify my my setup here so you can see but the screen's the screen's pretty pretty crisp and clear the reason i did this setup um, and was kind of playing around with the the black background is that I wanted to see if there's an effect called blooming apparent on this iPad. So this iPad on the right is the 2021 iPad. And which screen protector do I use? I use the cheapest one I can find on Amazon, the absolute cheapest. I don't do paper like because I think it's a scam. Um, they'll never sponsor me, which is fine. <laughs> fine with me but i think it's just bs so i just use the cheapest possible screen protector that's it and for me it's more about the glare and a little bit of resistance but not too much resistance so that aside um if you want specifics on the brand of screen protector i use thankfully thankfully i created a video just for you um let's see boom oops Copy this link, and I'm going to send you this link to screen protectors. These are the ones I use. <clears throat> All right. Those are the ones I use. So you can watch the video. Anyhow, so with the iPad Pro, the new one, the blacks are blacker. I will say that. It's hard to see on screen here. The blacks are blacker. I will say that. Um, however, it's, like, it's a bit like um, neon, the effect you get. 
And it's really hard to see here because the camera is correcting color. In fact, I don't know how I would film this for you. But Felix recommends Belmont. Belmont. Hey, Tom. Um, so this one has blooming, which basically means that when I draw on this black background, for example, from my perspective, and again, it's probably hard for you to see because my awesome Sony camera here is correcting all the colors <clears throat> and the levels, all right? But there is blooming, there's a glow to these lines, all right? And that's because this iPad uses what's called Sorry, I thought I had my microfiber cloth here. Um, this iPad uses what's called a mini LED backlight. So this display is broken up into tiny sections. And these sections allow, uh, let's see if we can pick a better image here, but they allow the blacks to be really black, really dark, punchy color, um, or sorry, not color, contrast it also has a million to one contrast ratio so for me for example and maybe you can kind of tell even the color calibration on these two displays feels a little different this one feels a little bluer this one feels a little warmer i'm not sure if that's because true tone is turned on or off but this display absolutely definitely to me looks different than the display on the on the left so just something to be aware of um tom's asking which one's better in my opinion so here here's the thing i was curious about in procreate at least so i'm going to go into this menu and see <clears throat> see what it says here and then we'll get to the fan appreciation shout outs showing off your work so let's go into canvas information all right and let's go to layers Why are you doing this to me? Wait a minute. Okay, hold up. I need to check something. While I check this, <laughs> the reason I need to check is um, I need to make sure that Procreate's updated because when they do updates, um, they actually... Yeah, I need to update. Okay. I'm going to update it. In case you're curious what I'm doing, this Procreate update has performance improvements and even more layers for the new M1 iPad Pros. So I had to make sure that I was updated. Now I'm updated. I'm going to open the same file. And let's see if there is any difference in layers. So here's the layer, canvas information, layers. Okay, so if I go to canvas information here, my 2018 iPad Pro has a maximum of 91 layers right there that I can access. This one, I can create 145 layers, and this is at 15 inches by 20 inches in uh, physical dimension at 132 DPI, all right? So, so far, it seems as though, for me anyways, because I was, I was always bumping up on layer limits with files, personally, so, um, it seems as though I'll be able to access a bit more. Um, so, so far for me, the M1 is better. It's actually quite incredible if you think about it. This thin thing here has the same processor that the uh, new MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, iMac that Apple released have. Like that's, that's kind of wild, kind of crazy. I'm actually just checking a setting here on my iPad so I don't want to show you my overhead just now but if you have any questions let me know um the pencil pairing was easy going from my old ipad to new i just took it off put it on and it paired so i didn't have to do any funky stuff like unpairing or anything like that um i just want to check a setting in procreate here let's see Okay, so it's not letting me do it there. <laughs> okay. So the thing I was curious about was the 
video settings in Procreate if there was a change. So if you go to video or actually canvas, canvas information, video settings, it'll tell you um, the quality, the length of the video so far, codec and so forth. Um, I think it is limited by the dimensions of the canvas or something along those lines. I'm not entirely sure, but let's go back to gallery here. Go back, go back. All right, let's go. Let's create a new document, uh, 4K. All right. Create a new 4K document and let's see what this recording is at. Yeah, so it's still 1080p. I'm not sure how to change that, and that's that's a bit upsetting or disturbing. But in any case, um, the, re the reason I wanted 4K is just in case, just in case I want to um, create like a video document, something like that with the higher quality. So, so far, like I said, performance wise, seems awesome, uh, much better uh access to memory at least for procreate i guess we can we can draw and kind of tool around a bit but if you have any other questions otherwise it's pretty much the same ipad um brushes feel great though i will say um i was starting to notice just a little bit of of lag with some of the other brushes um so we'll see performance wise how this how this all goes yeah this feels really great so this is me just messing around with my brush kit here. All right, so as we go, feel free to ask any questions. I'm gonna pop open Discord here and let's switch over to the iPad. Okay, I'm all logged in, cool. So on the Discord, someone's asking, what's the challenge for this week? I don't know, you guys tell me. What should the challenge be this week? So last time, or for the last two weeks, <laughs> roughly, we've been doing tools. That's been the modifying a new document for 4K. See, I don't know how to do that, Felix. Maybe you can teach me. I'm always open to learning things, so no, uh, no shame or consternation there. I'm totally fine. Okay, so last time, um, or last week rather, we were working on theme of tools. That's what we were doing. I have a request from Lori to do some food fruit tropical stuff so i'll have to do that um but that being said we have uh mystery here with tape measure lines with a stapler looks like pretty awesome Sorry, my brother is texting me. Um, got a stapler here by Felix. Mystery with some pens, awesome. I love your uh, pencil style, it's really cool. Another stapler there. Exacto knife or uh, scalpel. Tap on the black rectangle next to the new canvas title. Okay, I will do that. All right, let's, let's do a quick check here because Lines is giving me a tip, so. Black rectangle next to new canvas. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Right there. See, they moved all those settings, which is kind of annoying because it used to be in color profile. Okay, dimensions, cool. Um, it used to be that those settings were independent of the specific canvas, but appreciate that, Felix. Thanks for the tip. So if you want to adjust your video settings, do it when you create a new document. Cool. All right. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, we have some pliers here. Awesome. Hands are, hands are really hard to draw, so appreciate the effort there. Oops. Got some pliers here by Paramesh. Perspective pliers are hard to do. Even I struggled with those. Uh, we've got some musical instruments or musical tools. Very cool. Harmonica. Oh, that's right. You guys were going back and forth for a bit. Construction tool from Satisfactory video game. Interesting. All right. And then, of course, we have the show your work channel that, you know, tends to be things that aren't necessarily specific to the weekly sketch challenge. Let's scroll up a little bit and see what's up. This was amazing. I saw this by Michael 
scar in here. I gotta sneeze. Pardon me. <laughs> oh, pardon me. By Michael Scarn. This is a rendering by hand. I was like, holy crap. What? What? It takes a lot of patience to do that. Patience that I don't have. So, um, nice work. Got some bugs here by Geo. This reminds me of uh, stuff that, um, what's his name? Uh, Feng Zhu would do. Hey, NYC everything. Thank you for the super chat. Much love. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. NYC everything. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the super chat contribution. It means a lot. It makes a difference. Um, Phil says Air, iPad Air 4 has a max of 124 layers at 132 DPI. So you could probably save money getting the iPad Air if you don't like a bigger drawing surface. And I like a bigger drawing surface. I'll probably sell my old iPad Pro. Pennies on the dollar, but I'll get rid of it. Um, that's crazy though, Phil. Good to know. Good to know. Um, hello, Mams Art. But thanks again, NYC Everything. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Uh, Love these insects by Geo. Looks like something that Feng Zhu uh, of Art by Feng. He also has a design school now um, that he runs. So this looks a lot like some of those exercises that he used to do. A Felix with some utility knives. Nice work. Marker and pen is so satisfying, I think. Um, really great stuff. Isra with some characters here. Ooh, this looks like some sort of Godzilla type thing. That would be fun to do. By R Loud. 52 HB with the tool demo there. And we got some shoes and a few other things by Majog. Alright. Let's see. Super fun. So if you want to show your work and get feedback, and as you can see, you know, in this Discord group, this Discord channel server, um, you have a chance to show your work. You know, I'm not the one who's you know, I'm not, I'm not perfect. <laughs> I make mistakes all the time. So the great thing about the Discord is you have other people who are not me that can give you feedback and help you out. And I think it's a really great small community. So if you want to join, check out the links in the video description and I'll get you there. Ooh, nice work lines. Is this a self-portrait? I'm not sure. Net Arnav with some practice. Practicing cubes is super important. Really good training, like Felix says. Um, you know, mix up the angles, mix things up. Super helpful. Perp Koi, nice work. Looks like a mech. Very cool. Michael with some more digital rendering. This is this is next level. Insanity. I just I just don't have patience for this. <laughs> so I appreciate appreciate your work um, and getting that done. All right. So let's do some drawing. Let's get drawing. If you have any more questions, I'm using the 2021 iPad Pro. It's starting to get a little bit warm, I will say. Um, so as I was mentioning, what's amazing to me about this is this processor in this iPad device is being used in desktops, is being used in laptops, and now it's in this iPad Pro. It's kind of crazy. So Tom, to answer your question, no, I'm not going to um, get the iMac. I already have a Mac Pro. <laughs> I did upgrade <laughs> to the Mac Pro. You guys can't see it. It's out of frame. Um, I mean, I can take the camera off and show y'all if you really want to see but it's just a mac pro chilling over here that's what i use to stream do all my video editing production stuff all my workshops and so forth so pretty important piece of hardware for me and i love macs so that's why i got that but no i'm not gonna get an imac i will probably upgrade my laptop next year is what i'm guessing so that'll be my plan All right, so let's get started here. 
I know we missed Sci-Fi Sunday, so in terms of topics, anything is is open for me. Um, Lori had made a request for the mirrors. Oh, interesting. So I will say with the new iPad, an observation I just made is that off-axis viewing, if you're viewing off-axis, meaning you're not directly in front of the iPad, um, the colors can look a little bit off. Look a bit, look a little bit off. Perpkoi, what is the context? What's the the story, the character? I'm not familiar with the character. It looks like someone being victorious over a mech or robot of some sort. That's what it looked like. Yeah, bro. Okay, so Lori had a request for fruit, food, something tropical. So maybe I'll do that. I am drawing without the matte screen protector, which feels really weird to me because I'm so used to it. So hopefully I don't bungle this too much. Hopefully not too much. <clears throat> So yeah, I unless you're unless you're like me, and I don't mean that in a disparaging way. Um, if you're like me and you do a lot of work on an iPad and it's actually tied to making money for you, I would say get the M1. If you're just doing it as a hobby, get an iPad Air. Like, get an iPad Air. Would you prefer to see it done digitally or on paper, Lori? That's the last question, and then I'll I'll decide when I'm done warming up here. But curious what your your preference is. So yeah, my recommendation: save your money, get the iPad Air four. Um, that's what I would do. Ooh, that sounds fun, Perp Koi. Found a way to control the mech. Is that from like an anime? So just warming up here like we do. I gotta figure out. Figure out what fruit to draw. Lori, I don't know if you saw the podcast episode that I, I did, but uh, my co-host Belinda had a garnish on her beverage that was a giant parrot carved out of the head of a pineapple. Did you see that? <laughs> it was pretty incredible. Am I still using a Wacom Cintiq? Uh, sometimes, if I'm doing something specific, but most of the time, okay, confession, confession time. I like to work in bed. So, if I can't, if I can't do it comfortably in bed, I'm not even, I'm not even like messing around with it for the most part. Pomegranate, you guys want me to draw all the hard stuff? Hey, lines. So, all right, I'm going to save, save the fruit sketch for uh, pen and paper. I figure we can do, maybe do like a tape measure or something like that. Since the theme was tools after all. So just starting with a little, little base form here. And I'll try and make this fairly quick. So this is what I mean, like, I don't have patience to, like, do those super tight renderings for the most part. <laughs> so I just want to... I just want to keep going. just want to go fast get the idea down I 
one of the things I do teach when I am teaching is, you know, with, with sketching, you kind of have to ask yourself the question, why am I sketching what I'm sketching? What's the purpose? Is it to show the materiality of something? Is it to show proposed construction? Is it just general loose ideation? And all that stuff matters because it kind of tells me how much effort I need to put into um, into that particular sketch. Because if I'm if I'm doing something that if I'm doing something that uh, is just for me and the engineer, for example, that I'm working with, then I'll be a lot more scrappy. I'll even um, hey lions, what's up? I'll even take like a 3D model and use that as my underlay. Um, in terms of how I'm holding my iPad, by the way, I'm I'm kind of holding it with my hand. There's a there's a dock. Um, there's a dock that I'm, I've been trying to get, but they don't make it anymore. It's the, uh, what's it called? The easel, I think, by Elevation Labs, but they don't make it anymore. What brush am I using? I'm using my brush kit fill. It's, uh, this is the Spencil. It's like a digital pencil that I created because I was tired of the digital pencils that came with these apps so that's what I'm using here I feel like my pressure curve got reset or something let's see preferences edit pressure curve feels weird Feels weird. Let's see if this will. Oh, yeah, there we go. Mm. Okay, I had it backwards. All right, sweet. This is great. So basically all that did is make it so I have to push a bit harder when I I want these heavier lines. Oh yeah. So now I can sketch real light. So play with your pressure curve, super important. Customize whatever app you're using for your liking. I tend to have a heavier hand, so. Spending way too long on this tape measure. Uh, just for reference, how about I take advantage of range of course ideation material and range of material which will give an idea of the length of tendon. How long do I take for ideation versus material? Um, it really just depends on the product and the project that I'm working on. So in this case, if I if I know I'm working on the same thing, I can just hit duplicate and flip, scale this up. Right, and then make some changes to say, like, okay, I'm going to change this front edge because I have an idea for it. And I'm also going to change the side the clip is on because the clip wouldn't be on this side. Right, but I've saved myself a ton of time this way. All right, Phil, to answer your question, um, I do have an Oculus. I haven't... Um, really put the time into gravity sketch i will say just because there's so many things i'm like i want to learn blender and i'm trying to learn music production and a few other things so for me um i haven't i haven't really spent the time in there to say whether or not it's a, a useful tool for me i did mess around a little bit 
here and there back in the day. All right, so maybe this is some sort of display, right? And I could even take this concept. So I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of feeling this. And I'm gonna flip it again, scale it, but I'm also gonna rotate it slightly. So it feels like another concept. Okay, a little bit of a cheat there for you. <laughs> All right. And then now on this one, I might say, you know what, I, Kind of like the idea, and you'll see what I'm doing here in just a sec. Oops. But I might go, you know, I actually like the idea of having some sort of display on this tape measure. And like, what if you could, instead of having to look at the tape, what if it just gave you a readout? Could be kind of cool. Maybe it has like a laser level functionality or something to it. I guess that means you'd have to charge the whole thing. But uh, could be a thing, you know. So yeah, if you, no matter who you get brushes from, right? So I create my brushes, I kind of create them based on how I draw, but um, you'll want to adjust your pressure curve, play with some settings, whatever. And then you'll kind of be in a spot that works for you. So yeah, maybe something like this. And this way you can, you know, maybe see the numbers on the screen. Whatever is there. Maybe a little bit easier, right? Than having to like come around and see whatever measurement. Digital readout. Yeah, maybe that's a different viewing angle. And then just for good measure, we can do another sketch. So if I have a sketch page, sometimes I'll still come in and redo or do another. Another view, another idea. This is your life. This is all you need to rock. You don't like things when you change it. This is this is your life. You don't like things when you change it. This is your life. I guess calibration might be an issue, but it'd be interesting too if like this tape measure had some sort of what would you call it? Projection technology? So you could like, it would just project the number onto the, the tape here. And it's always in the same spot or something. But then you'd have to have like a minimum, minimum rollout or something like that, right? Unless it was also here. But you could have a tape measure without markings, essentially. And you might wonder why why would you do that instead of have like a you know those laser measures, which I have I one of which I do have. Um, sometimes having that physical confirmation that you're touching against something is is useful. That could be a thing. 
What am I drawing? I'm just drawing some tape measures. I'm an industrial designer. Hey, Latrice. What's up? Um, I'm just going to merge these. Let's group and then... It's weird. I guess I don't, I don't have to be as careful with the number of layers like I used to. So that's kind of weird. Alright, so I'm just going to color up one of these, do the gray marker thing, how we do. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. The challenge with power tools is that no matter what color you use, it's, it's associated with some brand. So you kind of just have to go for it. But yeah, as far as which tablet to buy, I would say buy the one you can afford. The reason I got this one is, you know, for me and iPads, I keep them for three years at this point. So I figure three years from now, this will still be kicking. It'll still be working. Um, I, didn't get I don't have anything to really worry about. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, there's this weird Procreate bug. So I think I'm gonna have to quit the app. I really hate this. I'm surprised they haven't fixed it yet. But man, Procreate opened real quick, I will say. That did open very quickly. So compared to, compared to my other iPad, it definitely opened up way quicker. To Hitler to win arguments on the internet at the drop of a hat. So, some to be aware of. Just erase what I don't need. Just a little paint and erase methodology here. This is all in the same layer, but do this on the new layer. And I'm using my sketch day brushes for this. Okay, and then up next we had, I'm gonna jump back to analog. We had a request from one of our patrons, Lori. He wanted me to do something bright and tropical and fruity. So I will oblige. Using an iPad always like makes me cringe just a little bit because I don't know if you've noticed, but the screen is a little bit flexible on an iPad. So if you are if you're like pushing on the screen, it'll flex. It feels weird. I don't know if it's just me either or if the palm rejection itself in Procreate like reset. But I feel like it reset or something. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just suck at drawing today. 
All right, uh, let's add some texture here. I'm gonna use my speckle brush. Let's add a little texture to this. And I'm gonna switch to multiply, drop the opacity, clean up where we don't need it. Boom. And let's add a little reflection to glass here. Am I on the wrong layer? Yep. Wrong layer. And just erase what you don't need. So remember with reflections, you're you're basically imagining imagining what is in the environment. And what might be reflecting. So if it's like a light or something, something like that. I really do not like that. I'm gonna go back to marker brush here. Yeah, I don't like the position of that, so I'm gonna change to, yeah, something like that. Thanks, Cyrus. Just a quick, quick little concept sketch thing. Um, okay, the only, the other thing I wanna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and airbrush create create a bit of tone through this yeah something like that I got a text from one of my neighbors. Um, I had the weirdest thing happen this weekend, by the way. So I'm chilling at home, and this neighbor comes over, and she she has a she has a flat of like flowers in tow, like straight up, like these yellow. I think they're marigolds. I don't know these yellow flowers, right? And. I'm like, hey, what's up? She's like, hey, I just thought I'd plant these for you in your in your garden beds. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm not even kidding, guys. I'm not even kidding. This happened, right? So I'm like, what? What do you mean? I'm just confused. Like, you're you're coming up, coming over to my house, and you want to plant some. You want to plant some flowers in my garden, like. In what universe does this make sense? So anyhow, I'm like, um, okay, I, I'm just thinking, okay, she's insisting on planting these. So what if, what if I just tell her she can plant them off to the side? So I'm like, okay, you can plant them in that garden bed off to the side. Cause I don't want this stuff in the front of my house. It's hella weird. It's not something I planned for or anticipated at all right hey Basisht. so she rolls up and i kid you not i almost said something else i kid you not starts digging up my garden beds in the front of my house i have these uh i don't know if you know what corten steel is but i have these like rusted steel garden bed things garden boxes in my front yard and that's where she decides to to plant them and i'm like <laughs> at this point at this point i'm so frustrated because she's clearly not listening to me i'm so frustrated that i'm just like whatever whatever just 
Just do your, do your thing, whatever. So, sure enough, she uh, plants these flowers, and you know, oh wait, no, she rings the doorbell. That's what happens. Rings the doorbell. So I'm like, hey, what's up? She's like, okay, I planted them for you. I'm like, oh, thanks. Just so you know, I I don't I'm terrible with plants. I don't water plants. I don't have time to take care of stuff. She's like, don't worry about it. I'll water them for you. <laughs> She's like, I'll water them for you. Like, straight up, man. Ah, oh, so weird. So freaking weird. I only have 174 layers left. That is true, Felix. Um, bad habit. Not bad habit, but just habit. Edio. So now I have some flowers in the front of my house that... I did not intend. Maybe, maybe Trekstar. I don't know if they're actually. I don't know if they're actually marigolds. In fact, let me look it up. I don't know what kind of flowers they're. I just know they're yellow. And she insisted on planting them. So I have yellow flowers in front of my house now, against my will. I was plantually assaulted. Um, let's see, marigolds. Yeah, they are marigolds. That is that is what they are. So I've got I've got these marigolds. She's not a new neighbor. I've been in the neighborhood for almost three years now, and she just chose to like forcefully plant these plants in my garden beds. It was really weird. Okay, let's, what time is it? All right, let's do, I'm gonna switch to the overhead camera here and uh, we're gonna do some paper sketching. I had a request from Lori, <clears throat> one of our patrons. To do something bright and tropical. I don't know what that is yet, but we'll see. Like, do you want a beverage? Do you want just the fruit itself? I don't know what to do. Tropical fruit. I'm just going to look up some tropical fruit. And we'll see. See what we can come up with here. And I'm going to be using some markers. Okay. So we have a papaya. I can do... I've done bananas before. Tropical fashion? No, she said fruit. Fruity. I don't want to do fashion today. <laughs> I feel like I have to like psychologically and mentally prepare to do fashion if I'm gonna do it. Tropical dish would be great. So like a fruit dish that is tropical? Alright, let's go for it. Let's go for it! Oh, something with fish? I'm confused. Tropical dish, fish? Or just all things tropical. I could do like some sort of abstract tropical illustration. I guess we can start with pineapple and then Maybe something, something juicy here. I'm just freehanding this still life, by the way. We're just freehanding this. Hmm. Freestyle. It does make me miss, um, I will say, it does make me miss home. Does make me miss home.
All right, I gotta make sure I get the pineapple pattern down here. Lori wanted something tropical. Don't you have fruit in Utah? I mean, yeah, there's fruit here. It's just not, it's not like, okay, what does this look like? It's like they alternate and then you got this little, all right, so let's do the alternating bits first. Um, There's fruit here, it's just different lines. You should know that being in the UK. Does fruit even grow in the UK? Does it? Pray tell. This isn't the best pineapple pattern, but don't tell anyone. It's just us, okay? I should mention when I when I'm planning on um, applying color of any sort, markers, whatever, I tend to um, sketch a little bit lighter with the pen. skip some spots, keep it loose, things like that. Keep it a little looser. Aki and Saltfish, how do you know about that? How do you know about that? Track star. I'm gonna have to use like pencils and stuff too, I bet. Hopefully this hopefully this scratches Lori's tropical itch. <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> hopefully the, hopefully this meets your expectations of something tropical. <laughs> I could do fish too. Fish are fun. Maybe I'll do some fish after this. As always, sketches will be uploaded and provided on the Google Drive for Patreon's channel members. If you don't know what that is, hit up patreon.com slash sketchity. Yeah, for, pardon me, for a while I was drawing some fish quite a bit. I was gonna have that be a mango, and then let's do one other thing. I think there's like there's like fruit in Jamaica that I know that people wouldn't know, which is interesting. How about a tropical leaf? Or a bird of paradise, or something. Also, Lori, I'm curious, is it that you are missing the tropics, that you wanted something tropical? Hold up, someone rang my doorbell. Hold on, it's my brother. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, I promise.
Okay. I'm back. So that was my brother. He is not joining us on the stream, but he was here for a minute to say hi. Um, all right, so we'll do this, this tropical scene of sorts that I just made up here. Um, <clears throat> all right, so now let's color it up. Color it up. This pineapple is going to be hella hard. I'm trying to think how I want to even do this. Um, because it's like, uh, where are you? Okay, there you are. So it's like green and the little side thing is, oh, I also have some like weird, weird thingies here. And my brother is visiting from out of town, so we'll catch up, catch up a bit later. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. If I'm going to airbrush, I could airbrush yellow. Yeah, I think I'm going to do some airbrushing. The more I think about it, and then we'll see how precise I can be with my airbrushing. What's my favorite fruit from home? Um, probably this thing, at least here they call it a water apple, but Back home, we called it just an apple. So that's the thing I miss probably the most. Also, mangoes are really good. Love mangoes. So good. I wish I could change the spray pattern here, but I really can't. Why did I choose to do a pineapple? Why? 
You have apples in the well, like what? Jamaican apples? <laughs> the stream's gonna come back and the studio will be filled with marigolds. Holy crap! That would be that would be insane. But yeah, it was just so weird. It was so freaking weird. Gives me a good base. I'll take some brown. Start filling these in. May have to take some uh, pencil too here and there. Next lines. If you missed the uh, iPad section earlier, um, just replay the stream, but I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have if they've popped up while we've been just chilling here. So overall, like I said, I would go for, if you're on a budget, go for the iPad Air 4. Basically the same thing. And I, I wonder what Apple's gonna do because kind of the way they've structured things is all iPads can run all iPad software, right? So there are artificial constraints that have been put onto certain apps or software things just because it has to work on older iPads. And that basically means that, you know, even though this iPad has the M1 processor for example, which is Apple's uh, more advanced processor that they're using even in desktops, certain apps can't utilize the full potential because their app has to work on an iPad mini from four years ago or whatever. So that's frustrating, certainly. But it does make me wonder what they're going to do in terms of um, compatibility, access to hardware moving forward. I think uh, things are going to get interesting pretty quickly. Because if I look at this and go, oh, hey, it has the same processor as, as my, not my, but an iMac right? If it has the same processor, then what's the, what's the deal, you know, or why should I, why should I use that thing? If it's not obvious, if I can't get the benefits of using it, it makes no sense. So I think that's what they're going to be up against. And it's going to get real interesting real fast. Um, I haven't tried out the camera on it yet, 
I will say. Not that I'm going to be taking pictures with an iPad, but still, still nice to know what that quality is like. So I'm intentionally leaving this stripey. Stripey, is that a word? Stripey as a leaf? To kind of replicate a bit of the texture that you would get on a leaf. Or mimic, rather. Just an example of using the nature of the tool to communicate texture. So why, why sketch with markers when you have the iPad? I think it's important to learn how to work with materials and tools that, as I like to say, don't forgive and don't forget. Just kind of forces you to be a bit more conscious, thoughtful about what you're doing. It'll actually make you better at drawing, painting, sketching on your iPad or digital tool of choice. So don't sleep on them skills, man. Got to keep it fresh. Keep it all fresh. All right, know how to know how to work with those other tools, how to manipulate. All right, I'm trying to decide what I want to do next. Uh, I've got this orange that I need to do. There's another leaf in the background here. Um, I'll use this other green, actually, for that leaf. Just go quick. Maybe having a green background on a green pineapple section wasn't the best idea. <laughs> Thankfully, I have some dark greens. Thankfully. Nice juicy marker. So I am using a marker paper and that means I can really saturate this, get it dark where I need to, blend things if need be. Super handy. Gonna add a little texture here with the marker to the pineapple. Then I'll come back in with some line weight, fix things up a bit. So Lori did request bright colors, so I'm intentionally using brighter colors than I would to to capture realism here. In case you're wondering, why is the pineapple so bright? What is happening? There's no pineapple that bright. How dare you?
Sorry, I was like, I think I'm losing my mind. So I couldn't find this one, one marker. Couldn't find it. Yeah, you're welcome, Lori. Lori is a fellow, what should we call you, a marker fiend? Marker fan? I just, I love markers. I do. I, I will always use markers. And I, I will always use markers. Um, all right. I need to, I'm going to make this into some sort of grapefruit or orange. So I just need to pull up. Pull up the image of a rind. Are ripe pineapples orange looking? Yes, they are. Orangish yellow. You can look it up if you're curious, if you don't believe me. Just don't worry about it. Just go along with it, okay? Shh. Don't you worry about it. It's too bad you've never seen an orange pineapple. You haven't lived life till you've seen an orange pineapple, okay? So get out there and live some life. Now, as I was explaining before, I'm making the colors more vivid than they normally would be because trying to go with the challenge of bright colors bright colors and I rarely rarely do hyper realism I just I don't like doing it so so much of life is captured by experience and what we perceive anyways that's the way I see it an art is an approximation of life not a representation That's my, that's my reason and I'm sticking to it. Deal with it, bro. Just put my head, put my, uh, put my shades on. Deal with it. with it, bruh. You need to go to the orange pineapple store if you want an orange pineapple. Did your parents not tell you that? Like legit didn't know. Just be like, hey, do you have any orange pineapples? And they'll they'll tell you if they do or not. That's what I would do. And if they get mad at you, just say, Well, Spencer Nugent of Sketch A Day said sometimes there's orange pineapples, so I'm here for an orange pineapple. That's what I would do. But you have to do it with a straight face, like don't make him think that you're doubting yourself.
exactly lines not to be confused with the pineapple orange store okay exactly in all seriousness it's likely color correction on your screen as well as um you know not having the precise colors but it's all good I'm just messing with you, Ravi. Just messing with you, okay? So this is a little something I do when I'm trying to mask out an area. I borrowed this from a friend of mine. Joey Celedon, who does some of this airbrushing stuff, but I'm just gonna quick, quick mask. Create a quick, quick little mask here, just by tearing some post-it notes. Doesn't have to be perfect. Truthfully, I probably should have done this before. But here we are. What can you do? What can you do? All right, so I'm getting ready to color this one up. It's going to be a mango. Hello. Babehav? Babehav? Not sure how to pronounce, but thanks for joining. color first then create a nice little blend Nice little blend. the iPad? I already did earlier on. Do you have any questions about the iPad? You can also catch the replay of the stream. If you're curious.
All right, cover this, cover this bad boy up. Now we have our mango. Probably add a little shadow on this. All right, if you're just joining and you're like, where's where's the M1 iPad Pro that I was promised in the video description? Just uh, catch the replay, but I'm happy to answer any questions along the way you might have. So if you're thinking about buying one, as I said earlier, I think the uh, iPad Air is a much better deal. So consider getting that unless you're doing like a ton of your work on an iPad, then I would recommend getting the iPad Pro. All right, so basic advice, save your money, get the iPad Air. If you have specific questions, let me know and I will uh, answer them about the M1 iPad Pro. All right, this is supposed to be a pomegranate, so I think I'm gonna start with Okay, that pinkish color worked out pretty well. Worked out really well. Use the brush for this. Now my light's coming from the top into the, the top and from the right, I should say here. So as I shade these in, being careful to kind of place the shadow core appropriately, leave some white for reflection. So yeah, if you're a channel member or patron and you have a, have a request, I'm happy to fulfill that also. Um, like Tom and Latrice, if you have work that you want critiqued, I need to make a post about that actually so everyone knows. I'd be happy to take some time and give you some feedback if you're curious or if you just want, you know, some other eyes on something you're working on. Happy to do that if you are a channel member or a patron. So feel free to reach out. Now we'll hook that up for you. It's always really cool seeing your work and what you're up to. Thank you, Lions. Much appreciated. Apparently I picked the most complex fruit I could pick. So I appreciate that. All right, let's see here. Now I need some deeper. Deeper reds, deeper, deeper. I just feel like sometimes working on paper is just so much faster and then you can like Pull it into the iPad if you want with, you know, take a picture or scan it in, whatever. So nice. So nice. Shadow, shadow stuff in here. Contrast is your friend. One, two, three. Contrast is your friend. Contrast is your friend. Sometimes 
Sometimes I wish I had other colors, but I have enough markers, right? There's just a, there's an in, in between red to this one that I wish I had right now, but I don't. I do not. This is your life. I do not have it. And of course, I cannot find that won't work. I kind of need a pencil to finish this off properly. Kind of. That's not gonna. Cut it. Need like a need a brown pencil. These pencils are really old, actually. them from when I was married when I was but a wee lad curious about the world and all it had to offer never seen an orange pineapple get out of here What's up, Cleverton? Life is simple. All emotions are real. All right, so now I'm to this point, and I've got colors on most everything. I'm going to use Life is simple. some pen here just to pull things out a bit. Leave me in my orange pineapple alone. Thank you. Can I dream? Can I not dream of a super hyper ripe pineapple? Jeez. Jeez Louise. And no, no, I'm not offended. You can tease me about my orange pineapple all you want. I used to be, like, when I first started online, like, 15 years ago, I used to be, like, hypersensitive to comments. Like, oh. I mean, sometimes I get bugged now. Sometimes I'm just like, okay. How about you... How about you come up here and stream? <laughs> Have a full-on conversation while drawing. How about you do that? Smartest... But no, I don't I don't mind these days. Life is simple, man. Gotta gotta learn to care about the right things. At least I had to. So Thank you. You don't have to pump my ego by saying the pineapple looks good. It looks terrible, all right? I'm working on it. Jesus. Should I use this pen? Am I going to regret this? I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Getting a little ink in here now. Gotta be careful not to overdo it or get ink in the wrong spot. Definitely in these little shadow bits here. The shadow, I mean, there's a coarse shadow running along the pineapple, right up, right up along here. So. 
We can go a little bit darker. Some of these. Do I also draw cars? I do. I kind of stopped drawing cars after someone is like, does all, you, does all you do draw cars? And I was like, oh man. Because the thing is people would ask me to draw cars all the time, but yes, I draw cars. Um, maybe I'll do some tomorrow. It is Tuesday after all. Informally known as Transportation Tuesday. Yellow Pineapple is actually an unreleased song by the Beatles. It was their follow-up to their critically acclaimed Yellow Submarine song. In a town where I was from, there was a pineapple under the sea, or something like that. I think that's how it goes. Um, there's supposed to be like a SpongeBob feature, but... Are you ready, kids? <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. There's still life out of my head. A little anemic right here on the pineapple, but I'm not going to worry about it. Taco Tuesday! What do you mean for what, man? What do you mean for what? Where do I get ideas from my drawing? Uh, just from my head. Sometimes I look at a picture just for reference, just to, in the case of the pineapple, just to get the pattern down for these, like, whatever you call them. What are they even called? I don't know. But sometimes it's just to look at patterns, get texture, color, things like that. So there is my tropical still life that I whipped up for Lori. <laughs> so <laughs> thanks for your patience. Thanks for being here. All right. So if you have any final questions about the old iPad, iPad Pro to be exact, let me know. Um, but like I said, so far it seems, come on. So far, it seems pretty solid. Um, it's quick, it's responsive. You know, I would say navigating and opening Procreate, like that wouldn't happen before. If I went to close Procreate and jump back, boom. That's, that's really fast. So 
that makes a difference for me. Um, there's our sketch that we did earlier. So if you missed that part and want to catch it, just uh, check out the replay and you'll be able to see that. I'm not going to draw a Lamborghini because I've been drawing for like an hour and a half right now. I got stuff to do. But come back tomorrow. And uh, if you ask me tomorrow nicely, maybe I will. All right. So if you have any questions between today and tomorrow, I'm going to be using this thing a little bit and I'll be able to let you know. But I will say performance wise, definitely noticeable from the 2018 iPad Pro that I have to this one, particularly as uh, it comes to opening apps, the fluidity of the brush engine in Procreate. Uh, there's the memory the memory side of things as well like I talked about so this is the 2018 iPad um, the display also is phenomenal it's fantastic there is that issue of blooming um, and like I said it's really hard to see but in fact I don't think you'll even be able to see it yeah I can't get it to show up but it's there it's there so blooming is a thing and that just means um, you know if I draw here, for example, that there's a little bit of a glow to the line, but it's not enough for, for me to say, you know, I'm going to take this thing back. It's funny because you go to you go to Apple forums and people are like, oh, the screen is terrible. I'm like, it's not terrible. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Do I play Clash of Clans? No, I play chess, actually, is what I do. I play a lot of chess. Um, join us on the Discord. Great. Great uh, suggestion there, Phil. Yeah, it should be around the same time, um, probably earlier. I was intending to stream at 10 a.m. Utah time, which is 9 Pacific, but at a late start, had to get my workout in. So apologies there, but I'll be back tomorrow. As far as weekly sketch topic or weekly sketch challenge goes, I don't know what theme it is. Um, I had some help. Haven't had the help of <laughs> maintaining that. And I'm open to if someone wants to be a backup in terms of, um, you know, coming up with topics and pushing that. Just let me know. I'm totally open to that. Just keep it clean. Keep it decent. Um, so for now, it's just let's see your work. Join the Discord. Say what's up. Um, show us your iPad skills or marker, pen, whatever. If you need help, you can always post in there as well. That's just sketchaday.com slash discord all right and that'll drop you into the discord server we've got the weekly sketch challenge topic felix is suggesting textures as an idea i'm going to let this sit for a minute but if you want to drop suggestions in for a challenge drop it in there totally fine totally open to that there's also a channel for tips tricks and tutorials for video requests to get help if you need you can also just generally show your work if you're um, curious and want to show something so uh, like I said we have, we've had Michael here just drop in pure fire in terms of uh, sketches and it's pretty it's pretty impressive to see just like the level of skill here nice work again lines we could do portraits again that'd be fun portraits would be fun so we'll see portraits or people something like that would be would be also fun all right Thanks for hanging with me. It's been a pleasure. I'm going to uh, get working, get moving, feed myself, all that good stuff. And I will scan and upload files to the Google Drive after the stream here. All right. Much love, as I always say. Take care. Peace and love to you. Um, thanks again to the channel members and patrons. If you want to get better at sketching, take some time to explain something to someone. It's going to help you break down the things you know and learn. And it'll make the world a better place. Just share. <laughs> Took me years to learn that one, but share what you know. Do what you love. All right. With that, take care. Happy Monday. And I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow.